Hello everyone, this is another video from the online guide on a bot constructor and telegram menu builder bot. For those who haven't watched the previous videos, we strongly recommend to start over and watch. The link will be in the description. To find the menu builder in telegram, you can use global search. To do this, in the right upper corner, press corresponding icon and type menu builder bot. And we are starting. This video will tell you about the general settings of your bot. In order to get into the settings, click Start Admin Bot Settings. The link to Settings Help Materials is in the message of this section. The message also displays the status of each of the settings. Maintenance Mode This mode closes the user's access to your bot switching it to admin only mode and shows users a message that technical work is being carried out in the bot. At the same time, bot admins can use it as usual. This mode will not have any effect on them. It is advisable to use this mode when some large-scale work is being carried out in the bot and the users do not need to see intermediate changes. At the time when we record in this video, the standard message cannot be changed. However, the ability to change it will be added in future. Let's enable these settings and see what this message looks like for a regular user. If your bot suddenly started showing this message for you, or your users started to complain about it, it means that you accidentally switched this setting. You cannot imagine how many people come in to support with this story. New user notification. These settings allows you to notify administrator about each new user who comes to the bot. The notification will be sent to the chat with the bot and will contain the total number of users as well as the name of the new user. Sometimes, with a particular intensive influx of new users, the data in this message may not have time to change, and in two or three messages you can see the same number. This does not in any way affect the calculations of general statistics of those who came to the bot. And after the influx subsides, the number of new users will come back to normal value. New user capture. This settings enables checking a new user with capture. This allows you to protect your bot from the automatic activity of other robots. For those who don't know, a capture is a kind of picture with distorted symbols or a set of images for choosing a particular one. User must solve the capture to confirm that he is a human. This option has three modes. First, disable. Second, will work only for those new users who came via referral link. Third, will work for all new users. Capture that is included in this section closes the bot's start menu. In the constructor menu builder, CAPTCHA can be placed on any button of your menu. But we will probably talk about this in a separate video. In addition, now there are two types of CAPTCHAs in the constructor, paid and free. Depending on which one is activated for you at the moment, that CAPTCHA will be shown to the new user. At the time when we record in this video, only one type of CAPTCHA at a time can be active in both. Notify Referral Parent As you probably already know, one level of referral system in the bot is available to everyone initially. This setting allows you to notify the referral parent that a new user has registered using his link. At the same time, the user who came by the link is shown the name of the Telegram account of the person who invited him, and the name of the user who was invited will be shown to the inviter that is the referral parent. I will immediately answer the frequently asked question. We will not post the link to accounts or IDs neighbor of those people in the message, because we don't find it right. Brief interface. This setting is for advanced users and is intended to create a brief interface. At the moment, it makes changes to the editor of buttons and posts hides the captions of buttons, saving space on the screen. 
In future, some other features may be added. Let's step out of settings and demonstrate an example of a regular interface. Here is an example of regular interface. Now let's switch it to brief. This is what the brief interface looks like. We will return the setting back. Remove inline. Enabling this setting allow you to delete one or two messages from the inline button of inline keyboard, thus erasing the history of the bot for the user. This option has three modes. First, disabled. Message will not be deleted. Second, delete one message. This will only delete the message whose button were pressed. Third, delete two messages. This will also delete the previous message above the one whose button was pressed. This option only works with inline command buttons. Buttons with links and pop-up windows are not affected by this setting. Link preview. When creating posts with links, you will have a choice of three modes Show Preview, Do Not Show or As Admin As Admin mode of the message refers to this setting The mode you set here will be used as a setting Moreover, if you change the value here then it will change in those messages that use it as a preview setting We have already told you more about this mode in the video about creating messages. The link will be in the description. Public statistics. Enabling this setting will allow your users to view the officially available statistics of your bot in the headbot of Menu Builder. To do this, your user can go to the Menu Builder headbot and send get stat command, specifying the address of your bot as a parameter. This will show him an abbreviated version of the statistics, which will include the date of the bot was created and the number of users. Let's enable this setting and see an example of a report in the headbot. By default, this feature is disabled and will show any data only with your permission. In all other cases, a neutral message, something like information not found, will be shown regardless of whether the bot is present in the system or has public statistics disabled. Thus, if you do not change the default value and do not enable public statistics, then using this command it is impossible to determine whether your bot was created on the constructor or not, so you don't need to worry about it. For the convenience of users, you can place a link to public statistic in any of the messages. Just use a special macros. We have created one of such messages for demonstration and you can see how to do this in the manual on basic functions. The link will be in the description. Time zone. This option allows you to display the time of your bot according to your time zone. In other words, showing the time of your bot. This is particularly used in macros such as date, time and function DT now. Links to manuals we will also leave in the description. To set your time zone, click the button and send your time zone to the bot as a negative or positive number. If your time zone is not an integer, separate the fractional part with a period.
This is how the message with time zone of your pod may look like. And here is the original message in the editor. This concludes the description of the currently existing settings. Watch the following videos. The address of menu builder constructor in Telegram is already on your screen. If you like to know about updates on the channel, press subscribe. If you like to be informed about every new video, press notify.